Hello, my name is Superich and I've got something a little bit different today. So you can see this is oh, just your standard setup, lighting, all that kind of thing, webcam. Different kind of webcam though. What if you could have a camera that had a depth sensing camera on it? So I look like this on the front camera and stuff like this is happening. What? Crazy? Yeah, I think so. So I better explain how this works first. Oh, the other cool, I'll tell you some more cool stuff in a sec. So, this camera is called the Intel RealSense camera. It is a um, F200, so this is the front facing model. You can see what it looks like there. And features of it is that it does 1080p, um, 1080p, I think it's 30 or 60 frames, uses USB 3, and, um, seems pretty interesting. The good part about it though is there's an IR sensor on it. So you can see on the picture there it's got three cameras. On the furthest left in that picture is the um, typical RGB um, sensor and then moving along to the further, furthest right is the um, IR sensor so that projects out a wall and you can see natural depth sensor of stuff. Um, how that gets used in other applications, for example this on XSplit, is that it um, composites the depth into um, a chroma key so the chroma key ends up looking like this so you can see here the um, how it works and all that kind of thing um, the depth sensor is translated to 640 by 480 whereas it can do 1920 by 1080 so you can see the resolution of the depth sensor is less than the actual picture however it runs at 30 frames per second very responsive as you can see here um, as a natural camera, it's pretty good. It uses the USB 3, so it has a full um, bit data rate for YUV2 and RGB based stuff, so that's nice. Um, it also has a tripod connector, it feels very solid. Um, you can see here, I'll try and uh, show how else it looks here. Other cool features is that as you get to the the range of this, it now works between 20 to 120 centimeters. So I'll move back out of range and watch what happens. Now that, my friends, is cool. So I'm going to walk back in. Yeah, that is rad. Imagine walking back in in the streams seamlessly like that. That's cool. All right. So anyway, that's the Intel um, Intel RealSense F200 camera. Now this is a developer one, so you can see here on the um, the website, it's um that they're very clear in saying that only get this if you're um, a developer because there's no real software for it. You have to go develop your own thing. The support for it in XSplit is experimental and has a few glitches like um, when you get near the outside of the range, it gets a bit blotty and stuff. But it's a cool thing to play with. It's about $100 shipped, um, slightly more I think, if you're shipping to Australia, which um, I was in that case. Um, other than that though, worth a try. Um, other features I'm trying to think of. Um, HP um, make a bunch of um, consumer oriented versions, so they've put this out already using the, um, the rear sensor and front sensor versions. Um, I think it's called the HP Sprout. So it, they bundled this camera up with a projector so it uses it for 3D scanning of objects and that. And this can apparently do 3D scanning of objects too, but I haven't tried that yet. And also, really good hand tracking. I gave, gave that a quick go. Alright, so anyway, I'll uh, wave goodbye here and um, see you all later. That's the um, Intel RealSense camera. Bye.